Good afternoon. This is the Intec MT5050 radio. I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm sure that there are plenty of other people who have done that. What I am going to be doing today is fitting the official um, Intec KA505LN tuned antenna in place of the um, little rather rubbish antenna. The advantages of doing so are that because this is a properly tuned antenna um, you will get far better transmission range and far better reception um, using this particular thing. It's bendy, it's flexible and in order to fit it there is a small adapter um, this little thing here and this is the focus of today's thing. I'm going to fit this. This has just arrived in the post. I've only had these a matter of probably a week. Um, I have done the mod on these incidentally to increase the power, turn on the voice scrambler and um, give me the extra channels. But this is today's thing. So without further ado, let's press on. Start obviously by removing the batteries. I haven't seen any tutorials for this on the internet, but then again I haven't really had a properly good look. Um, one, two, three, I can see five screws. So I shall just remove the um, belt clip and take my screwdriver. And I shall remove these five screws. There's one here at the top, one here and one, two, three. No, nope, shan't remove them with that screwdriver, that is a certainty. A slightly smaller. Ah yeah there we go. I don't know whether these screws are different in any way. Nope. At least the top two aren't. Move on to these. The mod, incidentally, here, there's a little cover. And what you do is remove that cover, and there are three wire links. Now, the upshot is basically to get the best out of the radio, you just cut all three links. Um, that activates the voice scrambler, the 4 watt power output um, and it also unlocks the extra channels. Right, and all the screws I'm pleased to report are identical, so there's no issues with that. And then the radio just, he says, I don't know whether you can see this, just very gently, there we go. And the other screws come out. There is a battery terminal here and here. I'm probably advise you just to be a little bit careful of those. Right, ah, okay. Now then. Just this so please bear in mind it's the first time I've actually been inside this. If you wanted to see what one looks like, well, there you go. I'm sorry about the lighting here, it's not very good. Let me try turning my light on. It's not brilliant I'm afraid, but there you go. That's the insides of this particular radio. Now the part we're interested in is obviously just up here and I'm just looking now to see... Oh, interesting. Okay. The antenna itself is just basically a coiled spring which well you can see this it just fits loosely in there I'm just looking if it's necessary to remove the circuit board out of the radio to get to this other terminal I need to solder to ooh I hate doing things like this on equipment so only had a short period of time but 
sometimes it's the only way ok all I'm doing you can probably see I'm just prising the circuit board up the little PTT rubber has fallen off but that's no detriment ok now be careful of the speaker wires which hold the circuit board to the case however as you can see that is what they constitute as an aerial a spring, I'm probably fitting my BB gun to be fair right ok there we go so reasonably simple to disassemble as I said just be aware of these two speaker connectors here so I can now see what I have to unsolder and it's a bloody great chunk of wire that is I don't honestly think that my little diddy 18 watt Antex is going to handle that so it's time to fetch out the big guns use the old Antex gas and he says looking for some there we go that's better right just while that warms up to one side and I shall get my flux and he says looking for it my solder and there's my solder and somewhere I thought I had seen my solder sucker is it, is it on there Am I just going blind? That's a more probable answer if the truth be known. Uh, I have some solder braid, but I do prefer my vacuum pump which although I've seen today is now eluding me don't you just hate it when that happens you put something down somewhere and it just disappears out the sight and I can't see that anywhere oh well so it would appear now the new adapter <laughs> I have no idea how this attaches however I shall know more when I get the other, this antenna off. I'll do that now and I shall continue um, part two um, with this very shortly. I shall see you in a few moments.